Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, if you're new here. I'm glad that you stopped in. I hope that you decide you like what you see and stay. And if you do, please uh, hit that subscribe button below and that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. You might see some uh, fur babies walking around back there. They are playing with their toys that I opened earlier. You can check those videos out uh, in my playlist. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do some diamond painting unboxings today from a store called Ten Me Arts Diamond Painting off of AliExpress. Um, I did order these back in February, so I am a little bit behind. I didn't get them until, if this is correct, I didn't get these until, uh, I wrote down 422, so April 22nd, so that's, mm, that's quite of a while, but I mean, it's coming from China and it may have been during their uh, little strike or something like that. I don't know, but either way, uh, it took a while for them to get here and they got lost in my pile. So apparently whenever I ordered these, I was going through an owl theme because they are all three owls and uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was the only thing I saw in their shop that I liked. It is what it is. I have uh, opened the wrappers on them uh, only because, like I said in a previous video, I took all the kits out of all my boxes so that I could uh, use them for other things, um, send them to people who needed them, etc., etc. I obviously don't need them because I have diamond painting stuff out the wazoo. So if I'm able to donate it to somebody else who needs it, then that's what I do. Um, all right, so as stated, it is Tin Me Arts. Ignore my writing, please. It's just so I know that I did or did not unbox these yet. Um, oh, see, I wrote down that I ordered it at 3622, but according to this, it says I ordered it on the 28th of February. So, I guess I don't know where I got that. Maybe I wrote down the wrong owl information. So I may have gotten here a different time, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and take all the paper off of all these now. I need to get a trash can for my little office. Now that I have my own little space. I had one in here, but whenever uh, she moved out, apparently it went with her. So I'm going to start with the small one. It's, uh, Sounds like fun. This one is it is called the Gray Owl. It is a 30 by 30. Here's what it looks like. It's cute. Out of the three, I think this is the more creepy looking one, I guess. If I don't like it, it might end up in a giveaway, but it's not just because I don't like it. Uh, because I'm still trying to figure out uh, which diamond painting I am going to put in my giveaway. And I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to afford to buy a bunch of stuff for giveaways in the future. But uh, either way, whether this one ends up in it or not, I don't know. It just has the uh, instructions on both sides. They look exactly the same, so just the instructions. Most of you know how to do that already. So this is supposed to be 30 by 30, but I guess it's, I'm just not used to having a 30 by 30, so it looks extremely small. It almost looks like it's a 25 by 25. Um, I brought my measuring tape in here today, so uh, I'm not sure. It's probably from side to side. It's probably not the pasting area. But huge paper. I mean, the drill field's clear. And uh, the symbols don't look too horrible. 
Definitely going to have to use a light pad for some of these, which I usually use my light pad all the time anyway. But that's what it looks like. Sorry, I didn't show you. I just kind of started looking at it. I have glare going on. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in this area. Field, field down here where it's darker is going to be the fun part. It'll be hard to see. See how it kind of gets. And then the key is kind of hard to read a little bit on some symbols, but it's not too bad. Like right in there. It's not too bad. He's kind of cute. It's different. I guess it just depends on what you like. It's definitely got a good stick to it. So it, looks like it did have a normal toolkit. I'm not going to do inventory right now because they are all in there individually and they're going to be all over the place. So. I will do that off camera. Um, I did notice that the DMCs are on here. They are not in order. I don't know if I've ever seen it like that before, but to be honest, it almost it's not quite as soft as a Diamond Art Club. Uh, canvas but it almost looks the same because it has like the glitter on it so it's kind of interesting anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one a really big bag for this little container. But as you can see the boxes all came pretty decent shape. Not a bad thing. Um, the next one, this one was one of my favorites. I think I've seen Jeremy open one like this. And it's a 30 by 35. They call it the Blue Eyed Furry Owl. Um... This is in a different kind of bag. Same instructions. Same thing with the drills. Oh, this one's around. I'm pretty sure the other one was around also. Um, you know what? I think it was a square. This one's a square. I'm assuming that the S in front of it means square because this one has R. But I don't know because this one doesn't say that. I don't know. Y'all probably paid more attention than I do on that. Same thing here. The field looks really clear. The symbols on this one are actually a little easier to read. Kind of. Um, it's, like I said, it has glitter on the canvas, so that makes me think of Diamond Art Club when I see that, but this 
is that I forgot I to measure that one. Let me measure this one. So this one was supposed to be what a 35 by yeah, 35 by 30. And then this that last one was supposed to be a 30 by 30. As you can tell, I'm like out of it. I'm tired, but I don't feel like taking a nap. So. So it's almost 27. Actually, it's probably closer to 26. It's almost 26 by 22 by 26. So definitely not even 30 by 30 all the way across. My headphones on as well, that scared me. So whenever I measure it this way, it's 33 by 29 so even even that way it's still not all the way what it's supposed to be but it's whatever it's still cute um let me tell you what i paid for these the this one here i paid seven dollars and 88 cents and it like i said it's a round um the Gray Owl, I paid $6.90, and it is square. And then this one says a different because it's, surprisingly, the biggest one was the cheapest. Oh, it's not the biggest. It's 30 by 30 also. But I'll do the inventory, like I said, offline. Here is the key. Definitely a little more easier to read. Here's the drill field. Uh, the part that I was saying is hard to read was kind of down here. Let's see if I can it's right in here. Where they all kind of look the same, but not too bad at all. Like I said, a light pad will fix that. There's nothing wrong with the canvases though. They look pretty good. I'll definitely be keeping this one probably for myself. Um, the gray owl may end up in the giveaways. Keep being stuck to this. I don't think it's too bad, not for what you pay for them, but I don't even know why I ordered three owls from the same store, honestly. I might go look and see if I can find something else that they have that I might like. So there's those two. Here's the last one. It is called the Winking Owl. It's 30 by 30 and it says it's a crystal square. So I'm not sure if that means it's a rhinestone one. And I think I paid three dollars and fifty cents for this one. So I think it was 17 for all three. And like I said in the previous video, since I'm not doing the inventory, since the baggies are all separate, I will definitely link below whether or not they are all there. So let me see. I don't know why. They had this listed as a crystal one, like it was supposed to have special gems or something. So I don't know if maybe they just called this crystals because of the diamonds or what, but this is what it looks like. It's hard to see. It's like a light pink owl. And I think it's supposed to have flowers. It doesn't, oh there, that's what it's supposed to look like here. Kind of like the picture I just showed you on the box, but. The drill field's really clear on this one. 
Uh, I could probably do this one without a light pad at all. There's the key. So, um, overall, the store's not bad at all. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully the inventory is all there. The only thing I, uh, the only thing that kind of weirded me out is that the canvas, even, even from side to side, not just the pacing area, is like a little bit off still. But they weren't expensive, so I'm not really worried about it. Otherwise, the uh, canvas is kind of soft. It's not like the stiff ones usually are from China. The drills looked decent. The drill fields all looked good. I didn't check the stick. It's super sticky, so that's awesome. And the canvas, for the most part, the key and the canvas are really clear. So I think it'll be a, a good store to look into if you're interested in trying something new off of the AliExpress, for sure. Um, I guess all you can do is try it and see. But I may try to, like I said, I'm going to try to probably find some uh, other designs off of there. I looked briefly, just glancing before I got on to film, and I only saw a couple on there, so I'm not sure if they are low on stock or what the deal is. But I'll link the paintings I got below in the description box, and I will link the shop. Let me know what you thought. Uh, I... I was trying to be like honest, so I hope I didn't sound like too negative. I'm just kind of sleepy. I guess I shouldn't film when I'm tired, but I'm just trying to get y'all some videos out. I just have a lot going on, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of diamond paintings to unbox. I just got my order from a Diamond Art Club. It's over there. I need to film it. I have so many to film. I counted, uh, I had to go back through and watch all my videos over again since I went on vacation and figure out which ones I unboxed already and which ones I hadn't because they all got mixed together while I was gone. So now I get to go through and separate them all back out and put which ones I filmed and which ones I haven't and then I can continue filming. So that might get unboxed before that happens. So I will uh, obviously have a video up before you find out but hope y'all enjoyed uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'd love to hear from you in the comments um, yeah, have a great day